Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, well, you know, yesterday was a hot day, that's for sure. We ended up hitting 94 degrees in Norfolk. Uh, went above the forecast a little bit because well, high pressure was a little bit stronger and squashed a lot of the clouds and rain. Uh, so the average first date of 90 degrees is May 16th. So we're really pretty close to that average. Over the past five years, well, you know, it's changed a little bit. Last year was May 12th, April 21st for 2017. Some folks may remember a couple weeks ago that we thought we were going to hit 90. We thought we did hit 90. There was something about the observation, so we didn't officially do it. But yesterday, we did. Yeah, <laughs> we went above it. Now, the forecast for this afternoon, low 90s. I think it's going to be hot once again, hot and humid. But look at this in the Midwest, in the Great Lakes, 50s for highs. This is this afternoon. So tomorrow we get in on that coolness. Highs will be in the 70s locally, and we'll push that heat just to our south. Highs near 90 in Wilmington, but we'll be in the 70s in Hampton Roads. Today we're in that hot zone. We got a warm front to the north, cool front to the west. Southwest breeze, high pressure is around, so that's again giving us a lot of sunshine. But today I think it's going to slide east a little bit and weaken just a little bit. That should allow, I'm, I'm hoping, for a little more cloud cover. Right now we do have some high thin clouds, but I think some cumulus clouds will try and build up later today. Maybe an isolated shower storm. But right now it's quiet and temperatures there in the low to mid 70s. No rain across the region. Super Doppler 10 is rain free, and we're going to have a lot of sunshine between now and noon. Mostly sunny skies, southwest breeze. Temperatures are going to rise fast. We'll be well into the 80s already by noon. 3 p.m., highs in the low 90s. We'll have a southwest wind. We could see an isolated shower storm popping up in the region, but a very low chance at 3 o'clock. And then some of those storms to the west, they start moving into part of the area by 6 o'clock. Maybe the peninsula, middle peninsula, and northern neck. That's at 6 p.m., and then they start moving east some more. That'll be that cold front moving in. So ahead of it, 11 o'clock, we could see, well, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, we could see some scattered showers and storms, and then it'll drop south. The front swings through, and we dry things out by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow through the day, it's going to be great. We'll have a lot of sunshine. We'll have temperatures dropping down to the 70s, north breeze. It's going to feel great out there for your Tuesday. All right, so today, well, it's if you like warm weather, today's your day. 89 in Killova Hills, 91 in Virginia Beach, 93 Norfolk, 94 Chesapeake, 92 Elizabeth City. Low 90s in Suffolk, Portsmouth, Hertford, uh, Franklin, and also low 90s in Smithfield, Newport News, near 90 in Hampton and Gloucester, 89 though in Melva. 95 today in Williamsburg. It's going to be a hot one there. Beach forecast, good place to go to cool off. Low threat for rip currents, Virginia Beach. Waves one to two feet, but the Outer Banks, it's a moderate threat. And uh, water temperatures are in the 60s. Watching this weak disturbance in the tropics. It's east of Florida. It is going to move to the north northeast. It's likely to stay out to sea, but we'll watch it because later today it might become a tropical system. So we'll watch it carefully. Tomorrow and Wednesday, highs in the 70s, and then we're back to the 80s Thursday and Friday.